Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and we have the 2021 State of the Octiverse released a couple of days ago. Now this is uh, GitHub going through all of their repositories and data mining it, in addition to a developer survey, which goes out to like 15, 20,000 developers, and they compile that information together and they give us a number of different trends. Again, it is available, State of the Octiverse, um, you can check all of this out. To be honest, I don't really like the way they compiled it this year because they, they kind of added a lot more analysis of the data instead of just raw data. I prefer it in more like top 10 style lists, but they do have the consistent top 10 list we've had for many years in the past, and this is just for fun, but they compiled the top 10 programming languages. Now this doesn't mean the top 10 best languages. This means a combination of uh, developer survey results and most used on GitHub. So now what we're going to do is that top 10 list, but we're going to do it in a reverse order. So at the number 10 spot, we have the Ruby programming language. Now the previous years, it was Objective-C and Objective-C is gone. So now we have Ruby. Ruby's really kind of fallen in popularity. It was really, really popular due to mostly Ruby on Rails as a web framework. It's getting used less and less. In the world of game development, there's only one or uh, there's the Dragon Engine. And that's about it in terms of Ruby languages, uh, powered game engines. But it was fifth back in 2014. And then from 2015 through 2017, it just kept plummeting. And now it's been holding steady in the 10th spot since 2018. So at the 10th spot, we have Ruby. At the 9th spot, we have... C. Yes, the C programming language is holding steady since 1977. Uh, C was, let's see, in 2014, C was in seventh, and then in 2015, it dropped to eighth, and then it went to seventh again, then back to eighth, and this year, it is down to ninth. I don't think C is going anywhere anytime soon. It's a small, simple language. It is very cross-platform. Uh, it's used in embedded systems and so on. Uh, plus, it is kind of the lingua franca of communicating between different repositories or different projects. Uh, it's got one of the simplest kind of uh, communication interfaces out there. Uh, so C sticks around forever. Now, at the number eight spot, we have shell. And to be honest, I don't really consider this a programming language. This is more like glue. I don't know if shell script is actually considered Turing complete, uh, but I do understand why it would show up here. It is, um, you know, the glue that holds many things together. You'll have a lot of repositories that probably have a little bit of shell in them just to do utilities and work and stuff like that. Not a lot of large projects are written in shell, thank goodness, uh, but it is showing up here in the number eight spot and it's been pretty steady. It was number nine for years, jumped to eight in 2017, back to nine and up to eight again. So shell seems to be holding in there pretty strong. All right, so now we move on to the number seven and we have C++, that is correct. C++ is holding pretty good. It's dropped a little bit in popularity. Back in 2014, it was in sixth. It went up to fifth through 2016 through 2018. And then it's fallen steadily since down to the number seven spot. Now, this is a game development channel. No needs for me to tell you why C++ is popular. Um, a lot of basically software, um, you know, the actual um, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff, things like operating systems and Photoshop and so on are written using either C or C++. It ain't going anywhere anytime soon. And it is holding up the number seven spot. Now at the number six spot, we have <laughs> PHP. Ugh. All right, PHP, uh, it really gained a frame in my humble opinion because it was free and it was free in an era where, um, a lot of things uh, cost a lot of money, so uh, PHP web frameworks became huge. And now PHP is the language used to make some of the most important software out there, such as WordPress. So it sticks around, even if it's a terrible programming language. Now PHP coming in at number six is a pretty consistent fall. Back in 2014, it was number three. And then for several years, it was at the fourth spot. And then finally in 2019, it dropped down two spots to number six where it is holding steady. So it does not seem like it is going anywhere anytime soon, which is a little unfortunate. Now we have the first climber on the list and that is at number five, C sharp. Yep, C Sharp is growing in popularity, but not massively. Back in 2014, C Sharp was the eighth most popular, and then by uh, 2015, seventh, 2016, sixth for a number of years. 2019, it dropped the spot, and then in, uh, let's see, in 2020, it became fifth, where it is now holding steady, basically. So uh, C Sharp, good job. Uh, definitely very, very important in the world of game development. Unity really helped it there, but it is 
been implemented by, you know, Unity uses it, Godot uses it, uh, CryEngine uses it, and so on. C Sharp is definitely one of those popular, most popular general purpose programming languages out there. In some places, you could actually say it's probably about the fifth most popular. All right, so now we move on to the number four spot, and it is a big gainer. This is by far the biggest gainer uh, over time, uh, and that is TypeScript. Now that is going to skew heavily. There's a lot of web-based projects on um, GitHub in general, so that's why you're seeing TypeScript so heavily there. But TypeScript has come a long way. What TypeScript is basically is an attempt by Microsoft to make JavaScript suck less. And it's probably of all of the languages out there that tried to make JavaScript suck less, such as, uh, again, TypeScript, CoffeeScript, Dart. Uh, I think TypeScript is just basically the most successful of them. You're also going to get tons of TypeScript bindings out there, which is going to probably skew it a little bit more. Uh, but basically, in 2016, it wasn't on the list. 2017, it came in at 10th. And then it went up to seventh in 2019, sorry, 2018. By 2019, it was up to fifth. And now we are holding steady at the fourth spot where it has been since 2020. And the next one I find a little bit shocking, and it is at the number three spot, Java. I don't know why, I don't understand it. Now Java and C Sharp kind of set out to solve the same problem, basically uh, uh, cross-platform, but uh, you know, C++ level eh, without the C++ headaches. And uh, Java, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand the popularity here. It is technically fallen. Uh, it was the number two language from 2014 through 2018. And then in 2019, it dropped down to third where it stays today. I don't get this one. I, I don't understand why there are so many Java users out there. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against Java. I would use C, C Sharp over Java every single day. But uh, I... I don't understand its enduring popularity. It doesn't seem that red, but maybe it's just because the world I live in. Maybe it's just the fact that I live in this land of game development where Java is a kind of fringe language. I don't know. I don't mind the language, but I just would have thought in popularity it would be down around seven or eight by now. But nope, Java holding strong at third. And I got to admit, the number two language, other than two particular reasons, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But with those two reasons, it does make a lot of sense. And that is that number two, we have... Python. Yes, the Python programming language has been pretty steady, actually. Uh, 2014, it was number four. Uh, 2015 through 2018, it was number three. And then in 20, 2019, and sorry, that was that was not 20, 2019. Don't worry, we did not fast forward into the future. In 2019, through this year, it is holding steady at number two. And the big reason I honestly think is because machine learning, uh, basically for AI work, vision work, machine learning, crunching data sets, handling numbers, uh, Python is just unmatched. Uh, it, it's just, it, it's the leader in that area. And things like uh, AI, machine learning, computer vision, and so on are huge right now. There are a ton of projects out there. And that is the, the area where Python is king. You would also find Python quite often in like custom um it's custom tools for reformatting data as part of another project. Uh, I've worked at a couple of companies where Python was basically used as the um, glue for the build systems. It's not uncommon. So I think you'll find a lot of repositories will just have a little bit of Python in them. And then we are finally at number one, the number one most popular programming language on GitHub, according to GitHub developers and GitHub repositories is, that's JavaScript. And it's been JavaScript, actually, it's funny, you look at the graph. We'll bring up the graph right now that I've been going off of. Uh, here we go, scroll on down, and you'll find it right here. And by the way, it's a very pretty graph. It's my favorite thing about the report this year. Top languages over the year, JavaScript is a straight line. From 2014 to 2021, JavaScript is the most popular programming language. And there's a couple of reasons for this. One of them is um, it's so easy to start and create a framework or a tool using JavaScript that everyone and their dog does it. I wouldn't be surprised that half of the repositories on GitHub are, a are abandoned JavaScript frameworks. It's just the nature of the beast. But also, JavaScript is the language of the web, and it is continuing to be the language of the web. Uh, and then the world of game development, it's not huge, but we do have some nice tools. We've got things like um, 3JS, we've got... Uh, uh, Babylon JS, uh, Play Canvas, and so on. So there's some really nice JavaScript projects out there in the world of game development. But basically, uh, the web runs on JavaScript, and JavaScript is pretty important. The web is pretty important. So as you can see, it has stayed pretty steady. Now, it'd be interesting to see if TypeScript can ever actually contest with it. Because again, TypeScript is the biggest winner on here. By far and away, the biggest mover is TypeScript up. 
Uh, the biggest mover down would be Ruby. As far as I can see, yep, yeah, Ruby is definitely the biggest mover in the downward section. Uh, in terms of my personal, uh, I find shocking on this list. Well, first off, I still don't think Shell should be on here. Uh, so I, I would have loved to have seen another language there. I get why PHP is still around and popular. I wish it wasn't still around and popular, but I understand that one. Again, I think it's Java that I find the most shocking, that there are so many people out there still using Java. Now, I know Java was huge in educational and in um, corporate spaces. You know, like uh, IBM went behind it. Consulting companies went heavy behind Java. Uh, but that was years ago. I, I'm just amazed that it's got this longevity uh, that that's quite impressive. Now, we got C Sharp. As you can see from the trend, C Sharp is definitely coming for it. Uh, but Java is holding strong, and I do find that one kind of shocking. So is there anything here on this list that you find surprising? Again, this doesn't mean that JavaScript is the best programming language, and that's what we should all go ahead and use. It just means it is the most popular uh, on GitHub and among the GitHub community. But if you do go through this list, it is a pretty, pretty accurate list of other than, again, I don't get why Java's on there, uh, but, and Shell, again, shouldn't be on there. Uh, but probably reflects reality pretty good. It'd be interesting to see another language like Kotlin or Rust show up on that list, but I think that's going to take a few years. I do think if another one does show up, though, it'll be Kotlin. Kotlin is coming on pretty strong. I, I do wish, again, there was a bit better breakdown of data. They've done more analysis here. There is a ton of uh, information here. You can drill down into it. Uh, a lot of pretty graphics and so on, but I did just prefer the, the raw top 10 style data list or top 20 style data list they did in previous years. Uh, but there is a lot of analysis of the data this year, uh, just less raw data. So if you want to get in and get a little bit more uh, details of it, we were focusing there on the highlights. So that is the state of the Octaverse and the 10 most popular programming languages in 2021. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.